In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a home page using the Design Plus tools. In this course, I just made a few um, fake modules here because we're going to need them later in the demonstration. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the multi-tool in your course navigation. If you have not turned it on yet, this is one of the tools you can turn on in your settings and then navigation. Click on multi-tool and we're going to start here with this first section, the template builder. Notice it says create a home page, publish it and mark it as the front page. Click on the template builder section and then in this first block right here, click create home front page. It already created a page that quickly, and now I can open that page for editing. Now that the page is open, I'm going to use the other set of Design Plus tools. If you have not turned them on in your course yet or on your um, settings, you can click Alt Shift D or Option Shift D for a Mac. I'm going to open my tools here. Now I could just start typing you know, and, and do it how we normally have. But we want to use the fancy tools and make it look really professional. The first thing we do whenever we're setting up a page is decide what template we want to use. And it's this green button up here, the green puzzle piece. And I'm going to choose this flat sections. And notice it pre-populated it with some information and we'll adjust that as we go along. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and add more information. So I've got this top part here and some buttons that already came in. But I have some additional content that I want to add to this page. So I'm going to click Add Content Blocks. Everything in Design Plus is done in little blocks so you can move them around. And we have a list here of blocks that we've kind of pre-formatted um, for you. But none of these really fit for my home page so I'm going to create a new one up here at the top and type welcome and I'm going to add that. My home page has a few different um, sections so I'm going to go ahead and create all my blocks. My next one on my home page that I want to do is important information and add the block resources and help and course layout and getting started. And I'll save that at this point just so you can kind of see what's going on. It kind of laid out the information and I can copy and paste my content into these areas or I could type it if I didn't already have the content developed someplace. So I'm going to go back in and edit and I'm going to launch my tools again. And the next I'm going to show you is a fun tool that I love. I'm going to go in here and click Add Advanced Elements. And I'm going to put Module List and turn it on. And then I can make some choices about how many columns. Do I want them all in one column, two columns, three columns? I happen to know I have 10 fake modules, so I'm going to do two columns. So it'll show five in each. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. I didn't publish my modules, guys, so let's try that again. I made the fake modules, but I forgot to publish them. So you can see, like my, by my mistake, that if you had modules that you weren't using or that weren't published, it's not going to put them on that home page. Okay, let's edit the page again. Going back to module list and I'm just going to update this to see if that gets my modules in there. Okay, I think that should have worked.
there we go I had to click add all modules so now I have told it two columns let me save the page and there they are you can see my modules here now here's the really cool part because sometimes at the beginning of the semester we want to show maybe the first few modules and then a few weeks into the semester we want to show different modules so you can update that information by going in here and going back to the add advanced elements the module list and then right below it it has um, where you can adjust it so let's just say I don't want the first two modules because we're further into the semester so I am going to uncheck these sorry this by closing the eyes okay now you can see they're no longer on here the other thing I can do is right here where these little icons are I can choose an icon so I can't think off the top of my head what would be different about each one of yours but maybe you can find icons that work with it so let's try first aid I just kind of popped up into me so maybe this is a nursing class or something and we're gonna have first aid as that module so now it shows the little icon in there and then I don't know if there's an ambulance <laughs> there is okay so I'm gonna go into this one and make this an ambulance and you know what that hamburger is pretty cute so I'm just gonna put the hamburger in there and let's see what else could we do um, chemistry let's see if there's anything nothing for chemistry um, science but I saw a tree there let's go get that tree oh there's like a leaf here's a tree so I'm gonna turn these back on remember I turned the eyes off I'll turn the eyes back on and you can see the, how those icons updated so let me save the page so see how the different icons came in there it's kind of fun you can you can keep going with this and keep adding things now I'm looking at my page and this module list way down here at the bottom maybe I want it up higher on the page I'm gonna go in here and edit launch my tools and then I'm going to there's a few ways you can get in there you can get it to the add edit thing but if I go into the uh, create and edit content and then go to the add rearrange blocks see it shows me all my blocks here and down here are those is my module so I can click it and I can say you know what this belongs right here in the middle of the page and then let me save and now my module list is right here in the middle of the page how fun right but wait there's more now I'm going to show you one of the things that we uh, tell you to do is constantly make sure that you put your instructor contact information in various places throughout the course that way if a student's having some difficulty then they can quickly find your information and contact you so when I go into this add advanced elements right here on the bottom there's teacher and TA deal details now I have already added my information the first time you come in here this might not be populated with information so I could even put my office hours on here um, but I just have this basic part here so now I can either insert it at the cursor or insert as a block I like to do it as a block so I'm going to add it as a block and save and now it's down here on the bottom of the page again I can decide where it goes in my information and I can move it around the next thing I'm going to show you is how to customize some of this information here at the top so click edit launch your tools and the first thing I'm going to do is I don't like this image I mean this is just a generic image that they pre-populate for us so I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna delete it and now my cursor is right where it needs to be I'm gonna go over here to image and I could upload an image if I needed to I think I already uploaded my image so I'm gonna just go yeah and here's my image here and then now I have this other image okay the other thing I can do is adjust this text now I can type right in here and so that's one option but if I create and edit it's either under create and edit or customize the style 
colors might be I always have to look for this one here it is customized banner text so here's the word text and here's the unit number now I said you can type it over here but let's pretend I don't want this circle here at all if I remove it over here it should remove the entire circle it does and then I can even remove this so for my page I wanted those completely gone so now I'll save and they're just gone so the welcome is here that works for the design that I want on this page and then the last thing we're going to talk about is these buttons here when they were put in the ones that relate to normal course navigation already work so if I click on modules it'll take me to the module page because that's a specific area in the course that's always and the syllabus if I click on syllabus it's going to go directly to the syllabus however these the start here and more resources I haven't identified where they should go to so if I click on it I think it's going to bring me to like a blank page to create it is because it's like hey this doesn't exist there's nothing called start here you must want a start here and so it kind of brings up this blank page that you can create so I'm gonna hit cancel and um, let's just put a couple of fake pages in here I know that that one said start here but we're just gonna do that and then we add one more page I think the other one's called more resources I'm pretending I already had this content in there and I just need to link the buttons to it. So here's this home page here. I'm going to edit. And then we're going to go find where we update the buttons. So you can just highlight it here like when you're on here you can say remove link and this is what I found works the best put my cursor there this comes up I'm going to say remove link and now it's already highlighted it for me I can go up to the link and tell it it's a course link and it's going to go to a page and I'm going to have it go to start here and the same thing on this button I'm going to remove the link and it's going to go to this more resources and close the panel and save even though those pages don't have content on it you'll notice it goes to this page it no longer goes into that edit mode uh, the one last thing is even though I set this up through multi-tool I've noticed it's not automatically choosing it as my home page so on this page right here I went to home and I'm going to click choose home page and I'm just going to switch it to this pages front page and save and now we have our home page there I hope you've enjoyed these little tips I can't wait to see what your home page looks like if you feel like it send me a screenshot or a link I love to see what you do with design plus